In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to build a homemade scuba tank for less than $50, and you can build it within an hour. So, let's jump straight into the video. Alright, so step one is to get this pesticide or weed killer sprayer. This is going to be your main air compression tank. You want to make sure that the nozzle has like this lever on it. Because this will be your regulator. I've already done this step, but what you want to do is cut your tubing in half that is connected to the sprayer. You can now take your sprayer and just chuck it aside. And take this part to a hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere that has the next materials. Once you're at the hardware store, you want to get a type of piping that has the same diameter as your sprayer tubing or piping. As you can see, this in diameter, so when I attach them, they'll make a good airtight seal. Also, the length of your piping does not matter. I just got 20 feet, but you can get 30, 40, or 50. It's all up to your preference. The next material is going to be these hose mendings. These will go inside the tubing to hold them together. If you can't find these anywhere, there is a link in the description to them. And your next material are going to be these C-type clamps, or O-type. I don't really know the name but basically they tighten when you use a screwdriver. These will go on the outside, clamping everything together to create an extra airtight seal. Now this is probably the most important part, but you want to clean everything with soap and water, and you can just use regular dish soap and hose water. Also, make sure to clean everything at least two to three times. While I'm thoroughly cleaning the scuba tank, I just want to say that if we get this video to 45 likes, I will build another scuba tank that is very similar to this photo. All right, so once you have all your materials ready, take two of your O clamps or C clamp, whatever these clamps, clamps are called, and add them to your sprayer tank tube. Now, take one of your hose mendings and shove it down the hole of that tube. It may help to use a table. Get it down about halfway. Now, take one end of your pipe and shove it down the other side of the hose mending. Maybe a little hard, but that's good. I mean, there's a tight seal. There you go. Try to get them as close as possible. Now, take your clamps and push them over, right over the hose mending, and tighten them down to, your, to create a tighter seal. Get these as tight as you can. And that's one side done. Now, do the same for the other side. Don't worry if you have a small gap right here, the clamps will help make it tighter so no air escapes. Here is a close up of what it's supposed to look like. So you have the pipe mending tube in either side of each tube. Then you have the C or O clamps tightening down on that pipe mending. So this step is optional, but if I were you, I would draw an international diving flag on an open area of your tank. If you don't know what that looks like, it's essentially just a red square with a white line going through it. This helps other boaters and other people know that there's someone diving underneath this water, so they should use caution when they're around it. If you really want to go the extra mile, you could buy a buoy with a diving flag on top of it and attach it to the scuba tank. Black duct tape is just covering, every, covering up a small hole. If you do develop a hole, I suggest that you add super glue to it and then wrap it with duct tape or electrical tape or any type of waterproof tape. So once you're done attaching both tubes together, you can attach it back to the main tank and you're done. Now you can go test it. In one of my past videos, I showed myself testing out the scuba tank in the ocean, but now since it's January, the water is much colder, so I've resorted to using my bathtub instead. All right, to make sure that no air is leaking out and that everything is airtight, just compress your tank and submerge your tubing underwater. As you can hear, it is compressed, and there is no air bubbles coming up right here or over here. So what that means is that your tank is airtight and it's ready to work. So let's do a test. Make sure not to overpressurize your tank. 30 to 40 pumps is good for any size tank that you have. Without using the scuba tank, I was able to comfortably hold my breath for about 30 seconds. Now, when I use the scuba tank, there's a huge time difference. A 
Yes, this is by the scuba tank. I was able to hold my breath for about one minute and 45 seconds, which is three times as long as my previous attempt. With more practice, and if you pressurize the scuba tank enough, you will definitely be able to stay underwater for more than six minutes. The size of your air tank or pesticide or weed killer sprayer does make a huge difference. My tank that I used today was about one and a half gallons, but I've previously used three gallon tanks. With those three gallon tanks, I was able to stay underwater for about 10 minutes. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. And if you do end up building this project, please be careful. So with that, thank you for watching.